Let me tell you the story of the space viking, Thor Odinson. When I look at this film from afar, just objectively, it is so crazy. Going into this, all I wanted was to make a super emotional love story. There's something that's like really melodramatic at times and just be unapologetically focused on the love element of the film. Am I uh, sensing feelings? <laughs> well, you're right. I don't know what I can expect from Thor Alone from Thunder. And I think as the name would suggest, I think it's a movie that centers love in a way that you don't always have room for in films like this. Jane? Yeah, but we talked about it in length about, God, we, we've gone from like, you know, scenes that are just off the wall crazy, how are we gonna get away with this kind of, you know, wackiness into real rooted in reality drama. All of those elements, when you look at it on paper, it shouldn't work, but it does. I'm at the end of the shoot and I know I've got a really brilliant film on my hands. God, we really raised the bar with Ragnarok, adding sort of new elements to it. You really sort of just pulled the story and the characters into different directions. All gods will die. Most of the time, when we're in our darkest moments, we try and deflect it with humor, or, you know, or it's funny because like the darkest parts of life are completely absurd. So how important when the world is falling down. Look at all the elements of the film. There's a Viking ship that floats through space that's being towed by giant goats who create fire with their hooves. I would say on this film, certainly in the shooting of it, it feels like moments of comedy careen into moments of drama and everything as a balance, which for me is exciting because that's how life is anyways. I feel like this film has a real balance of, of heart and sincerity. I love it, you know, it's, 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 it's certainly not boring. There's never a dull moment. Oh, you flick too hard, damn it! It's 10 years for me anyway. I just kind of wanted to sort of really make the most of every moment and soak it up. In the edit and you're testing the film a lot, you get a, a pretty clear indication early on of whether or not the film's going to be good or not. And so I think we all knew that we had something super different. <laughs>